Welcome to Impact with AI. I'm your host, Brandon Andrews. We've got another great conversation with an entrepreneur using artificial intelligence and machine learning technology to impact the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Today, I'm joined by PATH CEO, Christopher Gray. Chris and I are going to talk about UN Sustainable Development Goal 4, Quality Education. Chris, welcome to the conversation. How are you and PATH driving impact? So first off, um, Path, we are AI um, education startup and workforce development startup that uses AI to uh, to prepare people for college entrance exams, um, grad school admissions exams, and workforce development um, exams. Right? These exams to prepare for, to prepare for these exams cost thousands of dollars, um, which ends up being a barrier, especially for underserved communities across the world. Um, you know, and what we are able to do is use that use generative AI to make that more affordable give students unlimited practice and be it predictable mm-hmm. as a score or not, leveling the playing field so students get access to scholarships, uh, people can get into good grad schools, um, and really be able to, um, and for workforce development, be able to get uh, much needed certifications, uh, whether they want, whether they go to college or not, to be able to um, be prepared for the workforce. Um, and in terms of like the SDG, I mean, which really focuses a lot on quality of education, I think AI is paramount to that. I think Gen, Z, uh, we're moving to a world where Gen Z, that's going to be the standard, right? Um, of mm-hmm. how to learn, um, like, hey, using AI tools and teachers um, are going to have to adapt. Schools have to have to adapt to this new technology. So I think that, I think that you know, path, path is really on the forefront of using generative AI to do this. And I think lowering yeah. the cost to these um, tools, I think, will uh, make educate make will help um, the UN achieve this SDG SDG goal. Got it. Got it. Well, it sounds like you and the team at PATH are doing incredible work. Tell me a little bit more about the kinds of certifications or the kinds of tests that students can prepare for. Um, is it is it any test or are there specific tests available right now? Yeah. So we now develop a specific AI model around um, all exam prep. So right now we are focused on IT um, and healthcare, uh-huh. NCLEX, CNA. We also have um, come to all the come to exams. We have Azure, AWS. Uh, we're adding um, higher level exams like PNP, so project management. Um, mm-hmm. we're adding um, other certificates or emergency um, emergency training management. Um, and any exam that has an exam form that we can train our model, we can um, immediately do. So that has been, um, and we've gone all the way up to S, um, CS, CISSP exams. You know those mm-hmm. high level qualifications, but really a, a big emphasis on cybersecurity. Um, and healthcare too, really, really big mark on the workforce development side of things, um, but also the project management. Um, and we also have, um, we we're adding the CPA exams, so the financial, um, you know, financial security, but we've really been focused on a lot of entry level exams. These uh-huh. things that are really helping people get in the front door. So adding practices for teachers, right? Um, a, lot uh-huh. of, a lot of research shows that a lot of people are not actually able to start their career as teachers. A lot of um, people of color actually don't pass the exam on the first time. They're taking it multiple times to pass. There's some who have mm-hmm. degrees who can't do that, right? You can't even do the job. Wow. People that have graduated cybersecurity, they can't start roles in the federal government. They can't start mm-hmm. roles because they haven't got the certification. So, you know, really being able to like help people not only prepare for the exam, predict whether they're going to pass or not. And each exam takes about $100, $200. So to think yeah. so, if you pass on the first try, you can end up spending thousands of dollars. So that's kind of the gap we're trying to solve. So think education, think healthcare, think IT. And but um, and even financial services really just expanding on that. Got it. Got it. Now, it it sounds like this is a really helpful service for students. Are the students themselves uh, paying for the the path subscription, or are universities, colleges, or or other educational institutions, maybe even employers, um, getting subscriptions uh, here? Um, all of the above, right? So we are a consumer platform. Anyone can go to europath.ai and get the product. Um, but yeah, we um, right now actually, but a lot of our customers now are actually institutions. Um, so think mm-hmm. institutions, community colleges, some four-year universities. Um, like we'll be, well, like um, definitely like organization in Texas. Um, we have, for example, like we just added, um, we're adding next week the New York Regent Test, which every student in the state of New York has to take. We also add the TSA. Mm-hmm which every student in Texas has to take. So now we're getting this influx of charter schools that are like, we need to do this because our kids can't graduate. They don't pass these exams. Mm-hmm. First development, um, we have some government agencies, colleges, universities, mm-hmm. uh, 
you know, cybersecurity boot camps, um, mm -hmm. you know, and just some really, really good, well-known names that we're going to announce soon um, that are working with us. But yeah, we're really thinking, so a lot of the organizations are um, buying path for their students, but um, the product is super affordable. So we also encourage anyone who just wants to get certified, um, you know, in these things, they can go there. But we're actually seeing a lot of our attraction on the workforce development side because we've seen it. That's a huge thing that, you know, a lot of these people want to get certified, especially in cybersecurity, because AI, it's like AI increased the demand for AI increasing increases the demand for cybersecurity. So yeah. you're saying that you got to have more yep. data centers and you got to have people that know how to run those data centers that know how to process the data to, to be able to support the model training. You mentioned something interesting that I'd like to dive into a little bit there. You mentioned these statewide tests. I know that during COVID-19, during the pandemic, people, students all over the world suffered learning loss because of the COVID-19 effect, being at home, not being able to get quality education. Um, how was a tool like PATH helping students get quality education or prepare for these big tests, uh, no matter you know where they are or what the status of their educational institution might be? Yeah. So when we um, when we told when we we've had a meeting with charter schools and New York and school districts, when mm -hmm. uh, we told them that we, we were doing the New York region, they like freaked out or like what? Like apparently like, because like one students can't graduate once they pass it. But two, mm -hmm. um, a lot, as you imagine, a lot of underserved community um, students are not passing the exam. So there are a lot of yeah. people are graduating. It's a huge same with the TSI. Uh, we also um, are going to do the um, the California state based exam and any. We can actually add any state based exam. And right now, there's That's no good. one who's doing this all on the one roof. So it has really, really been it. But what happens is you have these students pass, so it's also helping them learn. We get them step by step solutions. So we're actually teaching them the concept. And mm -hmm. what it does is that we're also able to empower the institutions who are getting graded on whether these students are passing and say, okay, we see that this, cl this school is doing well because we have, we now, we have reporting and we put in our model, see how students are performing and then be able to get reporting to the schools and say, okay, yeah. you're struggling with these subjects but it's really important because what's happening is students can't graduate college they can't get um so they can't get diplomas so they can't get into college um okay. so it's upset right um and and even um and the tsi is incredibly important you can't get it you can't get in over half um by like close to 60 percent of students that are um that high school students are in texas actually go uh -huh. to based universities and every texas-based university you have to pass tsi so you're looking yeah. at that entire state that being a barrier for students and of course People of color who don't have the resource to prepare for these exams, can't afford tutors, are usually the victims of, you know, you know, not getting into college or not graduating high school because they can't do that. And with the new administration, a big priority is they want to add, they want to reassert college entrance exams for special okay. or universities getting federal funding because they feel that that's a way to establish a meritocracy. So now we're kind of going back in time and really now going where these tests that cost so much to prepare for are not going to be essential. And I think that's where we're yeah. coming in kind of create equity in that environment. Well, it sounds like PATH is setting up an infrastructure that can scale and potentially have a really big impact, of course, across the U.S., but even potentially in other countries where you have this these standardized tests as well. Um, Chris, got two more questions for you uh, before we go. Um, number one, I'd love to dig in a little bit deeper on how you're using artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. So how exactly are you using AI? How are you applying it to PATH to drive the impact? Yeah, so I think that we, what we do is that, you know, one, you have to create a model. We have, we are creating mm -hmm. our own unique model around basically on exam prep and 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 we, and it becomes more automated. So what we take is we, we take the content, we take the actual exams, then we take some, you know, feedback from subject matter experts to make sure that we got the right insights so it's really trained on the curriculum. And then we're able to just really replicate um, replicate that and use generative AI to make it more affordable. Whereas these other, mm -hmm. like Kaplan, they have to spend thousands of dollars creating content, thousands of dollars creating this. Then they go and charge students two thousand dollars, so, right? So we're able to leverage generative AI to make this this stuff more make what they're charging thousands of dollars for so much more affordable um, and accessible mm -hmm. to do that. So for us, it's about providing without sacrificing quality, right? So it's yeah. really providing that quality of education, et cetera, and. Speaking of like the global mindset, we actually have this organization that sells into um, all that um, gets um, ed tech, um, ed tech come into the Indian market, reach out to us and they want to partner mm -hmm. with us. Where we're actually yeah. going to add Indian based, um, the test, the state and country based test that all Indian students have to take to pass. Mm -hmm. They actually are going to get us into that market. So 
we are going to also start using as we expand internationally to actually start getting into other markets where they have mandatory exam that they need to take and they were going to be there. so you're seeing it and and even in india there's this huge surge where they now have all these big companies who are coming in and saying we're going to charge you this much receipt because we know you know in you know certain cultures education is like priority but they still mm-hmm. want affordability so path can kind of come in and kind of fill that white space of affordability and give them that quality so there were They've been, you know, so we're going to look at partnering with that organization to be able to get to get us into those markets. And India being obviously one of the huge markets for education. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. And, and even them expressing in writing, hey, India, they're expanding. We we want this education to be more affordable. We want our more kids to pass the exams um, and to do that um, in an equitable way. Got it. Got it. Well, looking forward to seeing Path grow and scale, not just in the U.S. but around the world, because you're right. These standardized tests are a part of the K through 12 and post uh, high school uh, college experience for so many students. And you want to make sure that they have the resources needed to be able to meet the moment when it comes to the exams. Okay, Chris, now here's the big question that I'm asking everyone that I interview. Do you think artificial intelligence can rescue the UN Sustainable Development Goals? Uh, yes, and I think it will accelerate them. I think that, you know, mm-hmm. I look at all the sustainable goals, it accelerates them. When you use appropriately, right? I think education being on the forefront of that because there's so much, you know, that you can just do with those data sets and just automate so much, get students um, unlimited tutors and unlimited mm-hmm. and all that. Um, but I think it will accelerate um, the ability to achieve those goals if used responsibly. Um, you yeah. know, I, I know that what's happening with um, deep, deep seek and um, all that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's the political aspect that's high. I think finally, you know, I think it's kind of balancing out that monopoly open AI has where like now it's going to be where, you know, they're not going to be able to charge $200 a month because now that's it's free alternative. And then, and I, now we're going to move into a way where now it's going to be the people that are making the past of the world who are really going to have to compete, but also you're going to see more tools being in the marketplace, um, being able to do that. But I think you're going to see all the UN goals be able to be accelerated. Um, and being that I think we have to have that still safety and guardrails in place to make sure that that the new job they're being created. So we so we're not educating people for for um, for jobs that won't be there. Right. So, yeah. 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 It, it's really important that whatever education, whatever field that it is keeping up with, again, not what's been done in the past in the past, but keeping up with what the expectation is in terms of skills that are needed for the future. and. I love what you said about building responsibly and responsible AI. I think that's incredibly important to everything from power consumption to the model training to access. All of those pieces have to come into play if AI is going to reach its full positive potential. And given what you've said and from a lot of the other interviews that I've done here, Chris, I think the question maybe isn't can AI rescue the sustainable development goals? The question might be, can the sustainable development goals be achieved at all without AI, without the acceleration that it brings, given that some of them um, have been off track as we look at the, the 2030 targets? So, Chris, thanks again for joining us today. How can people find you? How can they find PATH if someone's interested in uh, using the using the service or has a student in their life? Um, where can they connect with you? Um, you can um, just um, connect me through the, through the company itself. So Europath.ai, um, mm-hmm. it, you know, just go to our website, Europath.ai. You can access the platform. It's, um, we have a free version, so you're able to um, be able to try the product free and see if you like it. So, um, you know, we encourage you to use the product. Um, parents who have, um, who have children um, who are trying to get into college, um, grad students, um, people who want to get certification in IT, healthcare, um, you know, we, we're, we're open to doing that. So it's free. Um, yeah. Try it, and that's where you can find us. Awesome, Chris. Well, thanks again for joining us. Congrats on what you and the team have built. And thanks to you for joining us for another conversation in our Impact with AI series. I'm Brandon Andrews. If you want to see more of these conversations, visit impactwithai.media or subscribe to our page on YouTube. Looking forward to seeing you on the next conversation.